Hey everyone, welcome to another MacBook repair. So we've got an A2442 today, it's a 2021 MacBook Pro. This is one of the more advanced M1 type machines. And we've got no power, no charging, which is fairly common unfortunately for these. And even though it's a new machine, we uh, can still definitely get these repaired. Now we've got an initial 5 volt, 20 milliamps coming out of this, which isn't really uh, a lot. But it's often PP bus short or one of the USB-C controllers that is at fault. So as you can see, it does take quite a bit to get the boards out of this one. It is a bit of a pain and it definitely adds to the cost of the repair due to the labor increase. Anyway, we'll get it out, have a look, and straight away I can see what our problems are likely going to be. And that is a big, fat, shorted, exploded capacitor on what is likely one of the big rails. In this case, PP bus Aon, which is essentially PP bus G3 hot for the others. To reduce the impact of the board, we're going to use the soldering iron to get this part off rather than hot air. It's a little messier, it is cumbersome, um, it does require a bit of excessive force, but it does result in less risk to the surrounding parts. Now we can't reuse these pads, I don't recommend it, because it's, chances are that from the heat there is a loss of isolation layer between the layers of copper. So we're just going to clean up the pads as best we can, get all the excess solder, get the junk, the burnt junk away, make it nice and clean and therefore we can then put a nice little patch over it and hopefully we won't have any more problems from here. Because this rail has a lot of supporting capacitance elsewhere, we don't really have to replace this particular capacitor. It only represents maybe 3 or 4% of the total capacitance on this rail, so we're okay in this instance. Use a fair bit of IPA to clean up the flux. We don't want flux lying around. It does attract dust and potentially moisture thereafter. So here's the UV Cure. I like to use the color blue. Other people like green. Some people like black. I prefer blue because it's different and you can actually see it on the board from a fair distance away. 60 seconds under the UV light and that will be cured. Very handy light these ones. Much better than the old days where I just used a handheld one. Okay, now we do a preliminary test to make sure things might be working before we bother to reassemble it and see if we get 20 volts come up. And there we have our 20 volts, that's a good sign. I wouldn't call it a full success yet. We do need to reassemble the board, get everything back in because there can be secondary damage that has occurred from that uh, rather intense short, as you can see that was from all the burning. So putting these things back together does take quite a bit. You use a lot of tape. There's a lot of different flexes and connectors and it's easy to trap them under there and it's very frustrating you have to do it twice. A bit of experience always goes and helps. So here we go, 3.6 amps, 20 volts, we're doing really well here for the charging, that indicates our battery is good too. Open it up, we've got our Apple logo, that's one of the most important things to see and hopefully we'll get a user login. We've got a progress bar developing here for loading the file system. And there we have our user login. So that's all good. We were very lucky this time. Could have been far worse. I'll see you all next time.